Hi, I'm Pastor Frank Levesque from Spirit and Truth United Pentecostal Church. Talking to you today on the subject, Spirit and Truth. Well, the Bible tells us that God is a seeker. In the very beginning when Adam and Eve sinned and hid themselves, God came walking in the Garden of Eden looking for them. He called out, Adam, where are you? He knew where they were and all that they had done, but uh, he wanted them to know that he was still looking for that contact with them, with that fellowship with them that he had right from the very beginning. The Old Testament further shows that God is constantly seeking. Second Chronicles chapter 16, verse 9 says, For the eyes of the Lord move to and fro throughout the whole earth, so that he might show himself strong on the behalf of those whose heart is completely his. You see, God's looking for people that will give their hearts to him completely because he wants to connect with them. He wants to be a God unto them. In the New Testament, Jesus Jesus said that he came to seek and to save that which was lost. He came to bring them back into a relationship with God. Jesus explained it even more by saying, The hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. See, God is seeking those that will surrender to him and worship him in spirit. In other words, from the depth of their being, in love and complete openness, and worship him in truth which means with honesty, sincerity, and submission. In addition, he wants that worship to be interactive with and made alive by the power of his Spirit, which is the Holy Spirit. Because before we're born again, the Bible says that we are dead in trespasses and sins. We're dead in our spirit. It says, if any man have not the Spirit of Christ, he is not of his. We need the Holy Spirit to make us alive in our spirit and to be able to connect us with God. Also, our worship needs to be in accordance with with truth. And Jesus said what's known as his priestly prayer to the Father. He said, thy word is truth. And so we know it takes the word of God and worshiping him according to what the word of God said. He said, if a man love me, he will keep my words. Jesus is a spirit as far as God is a spirit. And he seeks us to connect with him in the spiritual realm of spirit and truth. God is searching for you. Will you become a true worshiper? Uh, one that worships him in spirit and in truth? Come join us at Spirit and Truth United Pentecostal Church, 51 Everlasting Lane, here in Roanoke Rapids, North Carolina, where we seek to fulfill his desire to worship God in spirit and in truth. God bless you today.